So today we're going to talk about um, our mobile device management software that comes standard on um, all of our interactive panels. It's loaded from the factory um, in order to give the client the option to have some management of the panels from a centralized location. This is um, an additional revenue stream for Galaxy as if the client decides to activate um, this service, then they are given a license in order to log in and create um, their atmosphere of devices in which they wish to control. So while we use the MDM service specifically for our interactive panel brand, um, it is optional to also put this uh, on any other devices in the school district or implement it throughout a corporate um, commercial type location as well. Uh, as I log in, you'll see that we have six devices in our demo group here, um, one of which is actually the computer that I'm on here. Another one um, is my interactive panel that I have here in the office. So if we click on a device, um, quickly it'll take you into um, all the information related to that device. It tells you the memory that's being used, the external storage, internal storage, battery life, what Wi-Fi it's connected to, um, a little bit more information goes into MAC addresses, IP addresses, so on and so forth, which I won't stay in for too long. Um, it also shows you all of the applications that are downloaded on that device. So again, this is my interactive panel here in my office. So um, obviously I use things like Zoom and some uh, Google Play, uh, Chrome, eShare is our... Um, app sharing uh, software. You can also tell the usage of each one of those apps. So from a school perspective, if I've downloaded a bunch of apps on the interactive panels and I want to make sure that my teachers are utilizing them, this software gives me the capability to really see um, how long and what apps are being used and kind of determine from a district standpoint if it's worth continuing to purchase those apps. Um, one of the huge things that this allows us to do is remote control. So uh, th this is not turned on um, at the moment in my office, but if I click on remote in a um, normal world, whatever panel that you're working with as the tech director or admin in that school or business would be able to remote into that, see that panel, troubleshoot it from a centralized location and fix whatever the issue may be happening um, or just correct their user error that's going on. You can also um, send install packages or files through this software. So for example, if I wanted to um, put uh, Netflix on every interactive panel in my school district, I can push that install package out through this software and do not have to physically touch each individual panel um, in the school district. Of course, just from a technical standpoint, it saves a lot of time, man hours, and also just makes it easier to manage can also send a message through this software to each one of my panels. So if I wanted um, to just send a message to uh, Miss McGahee's classroom, um, I can do that. Or if I wanted to send a message throughout the entire district, um, something like don't forget early release tomorrow, I can do that and I just click confirm and that message is then pops up on the interactive panel in that classroom or whatever device I have selected here. I uh, can also see the location of each device, so this comes in handy, of course, if we're loading it on Chromebooks or iPads or other devices um, that the students are using in the classroom that may be moving and not necessarily stagnant in that teacher's room. Um, it'll also allow me to lock the device, so if a Chromebook or a student device was stolen, um, I can go into lockdown mode so that that device cannot be used until it is recovered. I can also manage um, the power consumption, so if I wanted every um, interactive panel in the school to turn on at 8 o'clock in the morning. I can do that through here. I can also make sure they all shut down at 3.30 in the afternoon um, to make sure that we're, we're utilizing as much power saving capability as possible. Tons of options within the MDM software. Again, I can set up as many groups as I want to. I can manage my entire school, my entire school district, uh, first grade, second grade, whatever I want to kind of filter them as um, I have that capability within my admin login. Again, this is just one of the options that we offer to try to increase our um, hardware product line. Uh, having a mobile device management type software in a school district makes uh, 
admins and tech directors' lives a, t a lot easier in order to be able to function um, and, and respond to the teacher's tech support requests in a very quick manner. Uh, for more information on our uh, G2 control software powered by Radix, of course you can visit our website or we can always email sales at galaxynext.us.